This is my personal design approach. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As a design leader, it's my responsibility to usually share with clients and stakeholders the process that we use to design. Common design processes look something like this. But I'm not talking about that today. I want to talk about the simple approach I take when people ask me to push pixels around the screen. Regardless of the fact that I've been a leader for longer than I was a working designer for the majority of my career, I still roll up my sleeves and do design. I certainly wouldn't say I'm the best designer. Design is one of those things that you have to keep practicing. So I do feel quite rusty. Sometimes you've just got to get things done. Things that I focus on are a lot less about the product design and a lot more around branding our organization, doing logos, mocking up general styles on projects, and doing visuals inside presentations. By following the simple process, I can produce something pretty quickly that does a good enough job to explain an idea or to give stakeholders the assets they need. My design process looks something like this. First, on any project, you must get some sort of brief. Hopefully the person you're working with has written something down so that you've got an instruction that you can look at in the wee hours of the night when you're alone and they're not around and you have their words to describe what they want. But if they don't have that, you can coach them through some sort of brief that you can write down and they can validate your understanding. Quite often what I like to do is to sketch with the stakeholder and make sure that we've both had a chance to try and visualize what we're thinking so that we're both aligned as much as possible. With that sketch or that brief in hand, I usually open up my design tool of choice depending on what I'm doing and I start throwing into the screen all the elements that I need to see in the design. I don't focus on the layout. I focus on getting everything inside the layout. After that, I can start pushing the pixels around, putting things where they need to be so that they visually make sense. Once I've got everything in the loud and it kind of makes some sort of sense, I usually show this to the stakeholder. Of course, everybody wants to see a finished design, so I make sure that they understand that this is just to understand what's there so that we are in agreement as to my understanding of what they want to show. It's important to know what you're working with before you spend too much time crafting a visually perfect design. Once you have an agreement on the information in the design, you can then go to town giving it a unique style. Adding logos, fonts, colors, images, and other assets to create the look and feel that communicates the best solution for the desired outcome. As they say, adding lipstick to a pig. This is the opposite of a templatized approach. We're not putting stuff in boxes, we're designing around the content. To sum it up, first understand what you're doing and sketch it out with your client. Get everything in your layout so you know what you're working with. Lastly, you style the layout. Pretty simple, hey? We all have different ways that we like to design. This is not some team design process. This is not something that integrates with engineering. This is just my personal way of getting through the design given that it's not my primary focus and that I simply like to have a methodology for how I get stuff done, whether that be for a presentation, whether it be a mock-up of a web page, I like to follow this process as it gets me over the finish line. My name's Craig Jamison, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool. Hey, if you'd like to know how we use remote design sprints, then click here. And if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, click there.